In this video for the Beacon Hill dollhouse construction, I'm going to go over section S, dormer windows. I had more consternation over this section than any other while building the house. The parts of the dormer windows are first removed and prepared. I chose to do the pre-assembly just as instructed before painting any of the pieces. Some of the pieces were delicate and required repair with wood filler and caulking. This was especially true for the front trim with the feet and the circular trim with the points. For the L-shaped trim, I struggled to figure out how this should be assembled. This always seemed to be an awkward fit no matter how I tried to place these. After looking at many images, I chose what made the most sense where the bottom piece was inset slightly under the upper piece and this created a slight indention where the dormer roof would fit. After the pre-assembly, the pieces were primed, then painted in semi-gloss white. For the dormer roof pieces, I bent this into a semicircle shape along the natural folds, then painted the outside in gray and the inside in the semi-gloss white. I also struggled with the assembly of the right and left side dormers where it's attached to the front trim. One side has a tab and the other side does not. I ended up sliding the tab into the left front trim, then attaching the other flush to the right side, since this appeared to have more reveal in the pre-assembled front trim. Also, be sure to keep the window sash taped in the trim. This will ensure that the window will fit later in the assembly. For the dormer roof, I first follow the instructions, which mention to remove the dormer strips and individually glue these to the circular top. This required adjustment of the top strips to get this to meet evenly. The end result was not smooth and I did not like the appearance. For the remaining dormer roofs, I chose to bend the roof over the curved trim and make fit adjustments where the roof meets the side walls of the dormer. This resulted in a more pleasing appearance, so I would recommend this over the instructions. I chose to add the gallery glass bevel detail in the diamond portion of the plastic window panes to be consistent with all the other windows in the house. I did not install the front trim with the points nor the side L-shaped trims until the shingling was complete. I'll discuss the shingling in another video. I found the side L-shaped trim pieces to be the most awkward to install. I made an effort to generally keep these level and balance between the left and right sides and I paired the left and right sides from the available pieces that I thought were most similar. The front trim with the points was glued on to the front circular trim and I used my best judgment to place this in a way to maintain an even reveal. The last element of the dormer windows is the interior treatment. I was never satisfied with the rough appearance of the interior dormer so I looked for ways to make this look better. I chose to cut strips from a plastic binder and bend this in the interior of the window. Once painted in white, this helped to make the dormer appear more refined. I will discuss some of the finishing details in another video. Thanks for watching.